Okay, everybody. Once again, welcome to this month's Acrobat User Community e-seminar on rich media in PDF. I'm Ali Hanyalolu. I am one of the community leaders, leaders for AcrobatUsers.com and also a member of the Adobe Acrobat product team at Adobe. So today's pre presenter is Chris Converse. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with and knowing Chris, believe it or not, Chris, it's been actually over 10 years now since we first met and worked together. And Chris has been an invaluable and um, very much gifted contributor to the Acrobat community. Um, he, his background is in graphic design. And he graduated from RIT, Rochester Institute of Technology, in upstate New York here in the US. Um, but today he is involved and runs a company involved with multimedia design and development. And in fact, a lot of the things that you may well see on the community sites, including Acrobat and InDesign, has actually come from Chris. So he certainly has a lot of real world experience. His uh, company is called Codify Design. I put the link to his website there and you can check out what services they provide and all the great things that Chris and his team are capable of doing and helping you guys out with. Um, and he's also on Twitter. So I put his Twitter handle right there for you if you would like to follow Chris and see what he's up to these days. So uh, Chris, what I'm going to do is hand it over to you, please. All right, thanks, Ali. Start sharing my screen. All right, is my sharing working? Just not, not just yet. Right, let me stop and start it again. Yeah, good idea. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. So what I'm going to do for the next 45 minutes or so is show you a bunch of different ways that we can get Flash into a PDF file. And in addition, I want to show you some scripting examples that are going to allow us to um, create Swift files <clears throat> that can actually be contextual to the PDF file so that the, the Swift files can actually remember where you were the last time you were inside of those um, files. And the, the third sort of um, structure we're going to look at is how we can take Swift files and embed additional resources into the Swift object inside of Acrobat so that those Swift files can become more dynamic, doing things like loading XML and uh, loading assets. And then for those people who do use the Creative Suite, I'm going to show you two examples of how you can create an XML-based Flash application with no code, um, one from Bridge and another one from Photoshop, and then use the embedded resources to create a very rich multimedia experience inside of a PDF file. So to start with, um, I want to actually open up a Flash file. One of the great things about Acrobat 9 is that Adobe put a full version of the Flash player inside of Acrobat. And so what this means is everything that we can do in Flash Player 9, including ActionScript 3, can be interpreted inside of the Flash player. So the first example I want to show is a case where we have an interactive multimedia piece that is part of a website. And the animation that we've done in the Flash file requires and uses ActionScript 3 to create the animation. So the animation that we have in the background here, we have this dog tag from this website, yourdogsheart.com. And if I open up the Actions panel, uh, what we did here is we actually animated the dog tag using ActionScript so we could get a much more natural feel and use some mathematical physics to make the dog tag swing back and forth and look a little more natural. So when I do a control and test this movie, Flash will publish out a Swift file, create our animation, and then we can see the dog tag sort of moving over on the side. So what I want to do now is get this Swift file into my PDF file and have that same sort of animation and style be preserved because Acrobat has the full Flash player inside of it. So I'm going to quit out of here and I'm going to come back to PDF file. So I'm going to open up a PDF file here. So there's a number of ways I can get website content into PDF. I can use 
under the file menu, I can create a PDF from a web page, and I can actually capture this down. And Acrobat 9 will actually capture rich media elements right in the page for me, so we don't have to do the stuff I'm about to show you. So that's something that's built into Acrobat. But if I got this PDF in a few other ways, maybe I printed from my web browser or I exported from my authoring tool, and I didn't get my Flash component in the blank space here, this is how we can start to use the multimedia tools inside of Acrobat 9 to get that content in here. So I'm going to come up to the multimedia menu here, and I'm going to come down and select the Flash tool. Once I do that, I'll get this little crosshair. I'm going to click and drag, drag an area about the size of the Flash file I need to bring into here. I'm going to be presented with the Insert Flash dialog box. We're going to work with this a lot today. So under the file here, I can hit Choose and go select the file that I want to bring in. So I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to grab that Swift file that we just published from Flash that has all of our ActionScript animation in it. I'm going to come down to Advanced Options. And in here, I'm going to turn on Play the Flash content when this page is opened. And I'm not going to use anything down here. I'm going to leave all of